Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Callie. I wanted to show you my kombucha culture before I made my tea and just show you what you need to do it and share with you guys what I got. So I ordered this online from scobykombucha.org. It came really fast in the mail and it came with some really cool links to um, give directions on how to make your tea as well as a lot of information as what it's used for. It's basically got a cure for whatever ails you. Um, I'm going to be using it specifically to help alleviate some arthritis symptoms. I've used it in the past with good luck. and But I encourage any of you who are making any kind of an addition to your normal daily regimen to obviously check with your doctor first and just, you know, run it by them. But I've had nothing but good results with these. And look at this. It kind of looks like a jellyfish a little bit. And this mother culture, if you will will replicate itself and make small baby cultures. So this this culture, if I take good care of it, could last, you know, it'll replicate and you can use it for over and over and over again. So basically what you need to get started is a kombucha culture and you need a two to four quart glass wide mouth container. Um, I'm gonna sterilize this with some boiling water. You're gonna need 12 black or green organic tea bags. Don't use herbal teas, just use standard black or green. Um, you can also use 24 grams of loose tea if you'd like. Uh, the first time that you start your batch, you are going to use some vinegar, use some pasteurized organic vinegar, and this is to adjust the pH. Don't use apple cider vinegar because that will interfere with the uh, mother culture that you have. Um, you're going to need some sugar, and again, you want to use some organic sugar. Um, don't use honey or agave or brown sugar or stevia. Um, it just doesn't work as well, so use, you know, organic sugar. Uh, you're also going to need a coffee filter and a rubber band to cover the top of your jar. Don't use cheesecloth because fruit flies will get in. Um, you can put cheesecloth over it and then a coffee filter, but uh, fruit flies will get in and contaminate your, your batch. So basically, you're going to sterilize your jar, and then you're going to brew your tea. And again, it's a gallon of boiling water, which is 16 cups of water. Um, and you're going to boil that and then pour it into your jar. And then you're going to add 12 of your tea bags and let it steep for about 10 minutes to an hour and then remove your tea bags and it's very important that you cool your tea before you add your kombucha culture. Um, you're going to stir in about a cup and a half of sugar and mix that in really well. Do not use any metal utensils. It will interact with the culture. You need to use plastic or wooden spoon the first time you make the batch, you're going to add a cup, half a cup of vinegar, only the first time. And then you're going to make sure again that it's cooled down. You're going to pour your culture into it and you're going to stir it around very briskly and then cover it up with the filter and the rubber band. You're going to leave it in a, you know, a dark place or a, you know, with not a lot of direct sunlight, seven to 10 days. Um, don't let it get any colder than about 68 degrees, no hotter than about 84 degrees. And then after that, you can pour yourself, uh, recommended daily dosage is about one to three, eight ounce glasses a day. And that's all there is to it, you guys. So I am going to make my tea now. And then when it's, everything's cooled down, I'll show you when it's all finished. Okay. Be right back. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you, I just added the tea bags, and this will steep for quite a while, at least an hour, and then I'll take out the tea bags, let it cool, then we're going to add the sugar and the vinegar and the culture, and then we're going to leave it alone to ferment. So I'll see you back here when this is cool. Hey, guys, I'm back. So it's the next morning. I had let the tea bags steep for about an hour. And then I, let, I covered the tea and I let it just cool out overnight. So I'm back here bright and early and we're going to continue and make our tea. So I'll remove this. 
I have poured out a half a cup of vinegar. So it's all measured out. And then a cup and a half of the organic sugar. And I took out the Scoby mother from her packaging so I could show you guys before I put it in. I apologize for the light here. It's a uh, bright morning sun. Let me see if I can get this out of the way so you guys can see it better. So do you see how that... I'm sorry. There we go. It looks like a jellyfish, right? And it's like maybe an eighth of an inch thick. And this culture will conform to the size of my glass. And then underneath it, it will form a new little baby culture. So it's just a yeast culture. You don't have to be too scared. But what we're going to do next is pour that right into the tea. And then I'm going to stir everything up really briskly. So in we go. Look at that. And some of the, the liquid that it came in. And then again, do not use any metal. So of course I have a purple I'm going to stir it up really good. Mix all that sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Um, this one, it's done. Tastes like a fizzy apple cider. So it's really tasty. And the only other thing I'm going to do before I cover it up is take a piece of masking tape. And I'm just going to write the date today because we're going to let this brew for seven to ten days so today is october 23rd and that's when we start it so seven to ten days we'll be back to take our first drink so like i said i'm just going to cover this um, i actually am going to use cheesecloth on top and then cover it with um, a coffee filter and a rubber band to keep the dust and the fruit flies out. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm even going to post this video. But I am, so I'll fix that and I'll see you guys back here. I'll post this and then I'll do another video in 7 to 10 days uh, and show you what we got. But if you have any questions at all, please leave them below. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Again, I apologize uh, for this morning. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. Look up kombucha. Google it. K-O-M-B-U-C-H-A. It, you know, again, it, it's used for treating many, many things, including memory loss, PMS, rheumatism, aging, loss of appetite, cancer, hypertension, constipation, arthritis, hair growth, um, supposed to boost the immune system, strengthen your metabolism, the list goes on and on. And I encourage you guys to check it out. And again, check with your doctor before making any changes. So I hope this has been interesting for you. And I'll see you guys in seven days when we have a drink. <laughs>